Hey guys, Matt here, and uh, I'm a little late with one of my videos, but it's Sunday. I'm going to put up two videos today. Um, the first video I'm going to do is on Revo. Revo allows you to um, uninstall programs completely, so get rid of anything in the registry as well as files that have been left behind. Um, if you remember from the last video I made, there was a bunch of Chinese software that was installed on this computer, um, and I cannot get rid of it. So. I want to uh, try Revo, see how much I can get rid of it with Revo, see if it's even possible. Um, so, yeah, I should tell you where you can get this. Uh, if you go to uh, RevoUninstaller.com um, and then you go to Downloads, you can get the freeware edition. I'm going to choose the portable edition, which allows me to put it on like a USB stick and I can use it anywhere I am. So if I'm at work, I can use it across a bunch of machines and just, you know, uh, clean them up or at home or whatever, like, you know, whatever. So that way I don't have to, I don't have to install it, you know, on each machine. Um, oh, let's see, I downloaded it. Let's go to my downloads. see it let me go back there no let me hit open so file explorer and here is revo it's a folder called Rito, revo portable and let's just double click on this guy actually let's right click on him and run it as administrator Okay, as soon as it pops up, it lists all the applications that are, you know, registered with Windows and installed. Let's go ahead and start with this guy right here. Uninstall. Gives you a few options. Um, you can pause the video and read through those. I'm not going to read through every single one, but I'll just go with advanced on each one. They say it's slower or something like that, but I don't know. It seems to be fine. So here's some prompts from the actual software, I suppose. Click Next, We're scanning for leftover information. And next again, and finish. Uh, so it's successfully uninstalled. No biggie there. Um, I know from testing this that this 360 will not come off. Uh, I can go to uninstall, advanced. I don't know what that says, and no matter what I press, it never makes a difference anyway. Next. Okay, now it found leftover registry items. So we'll just select everything, and then we'll click delete. Now you would think you would select everything and hit next. No, I did that not even paying attention. It doesn't do that. Um, Let's go ahead and hit delete. So it looks like it's deleted. Click next. It found all these files and leftovers. Delete. It's going to attempt to delete these. I think it actually deleted it, which is weird. Um, it didn't do that last time, unless I screwed up last time. Uh, it says that we have to reboot to finish that. Huh, that's so strange. Okay, let's go ahead and go through this one. Advanced. Mm, I don't know what that means. Alright, select everything in the registry that we want to delete. Delete. Next, select all those and delete. Man, I so don't feel like going to any Super Bowl party tonight. I just want to make more videos tonight. I 
I've been pretty good with my diet the last few days, so I know tonight I'll just blow it, eat all kinds of crap-ass food, and beer, and everything else. Oh, well. Okay. So, obviously, you can fast-forward this if you don't want to see me do this. Oh, shoot. Client. Hang on a second, guys. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and hit yes. Finish. Um, I don't know what that is, so I'll just remove it. Why am I not seeing it? Okay. So there's also something called a hunter mode. I think that's a whatever. That looks familiar. Hunter mode allows you to click on something on your desktop um, and just remove it that way. I think it's sort of a waste of time for me. I mean, I don't know. Anything that's anything that's in here, it seems like Revo can uninstall, but outside of here, it just doesn't know what to do with it, as far as I know right now. So, let's see if I can pick something. This thing right here looks like it's still installed. I don't know. Let me just click Hunter Mode. It brings up this little target thing, and then I can, like, click on here and say Uninstall. <laughs> Okay, it says no package found, so that's what you get, you know, when there's no uninstaller package. Let's just see if there's anything here. None found. Here. None found. So, I don't know. Hunter mode, maybe somebody can correct me, but I don't see much value in it. This GOM player, easily uninstalled. So I dig it. I mean, it's kind of neat because a, a lot of pro uninstallers leave tons of shit behind. I mean, and I deal with that all the time, and this, this, I'm going to be using this. It's a nice little app. I'm kind of curious to see if it'll speed up our computer, too. We have this boot time. Uh, it says, uh... Okay, 11.43 seconds was my last boot. My record was 9.125. All right, let me try that. Uh, we've got a few more to go here. I have no idea. Select all those. Hmm, that's interesting. Those look like legit registry entries. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Just one or two more to go here. Select all, delete. Select all and delete. I know this isn't terribly. <laughs> this is not a terribly interesting video. Most of my videos, I can't believe people even watch them. But anyway, it's a useful utility. I thought I should talk about it. Took me long enough. I've been doing this for years and I just never tried out Revo. I don't know. Wow. Snazzy. Nice little app. Wowee. I don't need that. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and do a reboot and see what happens with our boot speed. So while that's rebooting, um, I do have a new channel. I know some of you probably know that. I have a gaming channel. It's more of like a gaming with my friends in St. Louis channel. But if anyone else wants to watch, you can find it right here under Matt's Games. Still kind of getting a feel for how everything works. Hello, everybody. Um, it's really difficult to... Uh, 
recording gaming videos and IT videos are totally different. I realize that now. So I've got a few things up. It mostly sucks, but um, it's going to get a lot better. So just want to let you guys know. Because when I'm not working and I'm not with the fam, I'm definitely gaming. PC gaming mostly. I do have a PS4, but I don't use it that much. Sometimes I go on like these jaunts where I'll use the PS4 like for days and days and days and then all of a sudden it's just right back to the PC. I have a, a GTX 980 in my PC, uh, so I'm able to play whatever the hell I want in the highest you know, highest mode of graphics, so. All right, let's see if maybe our boot time got decreased with all that stuff removed. See, that 360 stuff came back. I don't know what that's about, man. That's trippy. That's the only thing that Revo missed. Um, so maybe someone else has some ideas on that, because it's my first time using Revo. I mean, if that's the only issue, it's not too big of a deal. I could always go into, um, like, a boot like a bootable CD, like a Linux CD, a rescue CD, and just remove it manually, but... I don't know. <laughs> My boot time went down. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Anyway, it is a very useful utility. I mean, it just missed one thing, and it's some kind of, you know... I have no idea what this thing is. 360 safe from uh, China. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys later. Actually, no, I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. I have another video coming up. I'm, i got to make one right now, so bye. Um, bye. Stupid F10 does not work. Okay, bye now.